So good morning everyone from a very chilly South Carolina here at Disney's Hilton Head Island Resort. Yes, it is cold today. So yesterday, if you guys saw the vlog, yesterday was in the 80s. We had an amazing beach day. We swam in the pool. We swam and hung out at the um, hot tub. Today, a little different. This morning, it's only in the 50s. Let's get up to 65 degrees, but there is a very strong gust all day long. So it's going to be very busy. Or it's going to be very chilly today. And all that stuff. So today may be a little bit more of a slower day. Um, may explore the resort a little bit more. Maybe today I'll get my resort tour done. An updated resort tour. So you guys can see all that. Um, but also maybe I'll, we have Mickey tie-dye this morning. And really no other plans. So we're going to try to figure out what we can do today. Anything else. Ignore the bed head i just got up so my hair hasn't had time to refluff back up so but make sure you guys do stick around for today's i would say more relaxing day maybe today is where we'll go to some of the shops maybe go around the island a little bit and see what there is to do so kind of give you guys like that so make sure you guys do stick around i'm currently walking out to the car i can't find my earbuds again so what's like what this area is very unique because of the fact that it's so like they said it was a cold front but we never actually got any weather yesterday so it was just truly just a weather change but it's kind of a nice break from the humidity and the sun and the grossness that is Florida. But also look at how this looks. Like this view right here this morning is amazing. Also, you want to know the real struggle? So I'm wearing bright blue sweatpants. We had to buy those from Walmart because we all did not pay attention to the weather before getting here. So back to building 18. It's funny, we bought these bikes, we got these bikes to ride around, and I don't even know if we're gonna ride them today because how chilly it is. Now, it will get to 65. When you're in the sun, it's really nice, but the breeze could be the issue thing, so it's the only thing about it. So we decided to, <laughs> to do some, we have our Mickey tie-dye this morning, and so the way they have it set up is that they have, this end is your hidden Mickey. So they say do these three in, a single color, then do this one in a lighter color, and then do the rest of it from there. Now it's gonna be the game of what's it gonna look like when it's done when it's done drying. Cause we got mine, this Kayla's, it's my dad's. Kendall and my mom are still working on theirs. My mom's got a lot of green in hers, so it's gonna be very green heavy. So then they bag them up, tell you to complete your Mickey tie dye. It says let the wrap trip sit overnight or longer, so they recommend three to five days. Then you cut and remove the rubber bands. Remember to wear the plastic gloves. Fill washer with hottest water possible. Add a smell of laundry detergent. So, we'll see how it turns out in like three to five days. So I'll end up taking this back home. Came back over to the beach house to get a look at the high tide because yesterday when we came out, the water was probably a good 15 to 20 feet farther back for low tide. So, Come look for a shark later. We can. So I don't think anyone's gonna be swimming at the beach house today. Maybe later, because it's supposed to get up to 65, but the wind is what's torture, so. But we are heading over to a shopping center area um, that Kayla found, so we're gonna go check that out, and then maybe try to see if we can go find the lighthouse, possibly, but we were talking about how big the waves are over there. Also, someone has a kite out there, and I kind of want to fly a kite, but we don't have a kite, so, and I don't want to spend money on one. So we drive down to Coligny Plaza Shopping Center, right down here, and this has a bunch of different collections of shops. Now, the thing is, you can't park here to, to go to the beach, because the beach is literally just down that way, probably a 10-minute walk from here. But they have all sorts of different, they have like Island Fudge Shop, they have Hot Daddy Sauces and Oils, they have Tropical Styles, Frozen Moo Ice Cream, Soma, the Frosty Frog Cafe and Pizza, the Tea Hut, all sorts of different little places and you can even bike up here, they have bike racks everywhere as well. 
you're gonna work your way to the middle you got the shell shop over there which is more like what you'd see like tacky tory tourist type of merch you have this earl of sandwich pub go over there and look at the menu for a quick second but yeah you see you got a lot of parking over here there's the black at market minerals shell shop they have a blue moon pops a lot of mom and pop shops Let's see what do they've got for the earl of sandwich pub who is a very interesting burgers sandwiches wow very extensive menu so daily hours monday through saturday 11 30 when it fizzles out closed sunday so on sunday they are closed so we actually just stopped into this pots hilton head island and they actually have candies ranging all the way from the 1920s all the way up to today and they also have classic like soda so i got one of these because i might try it i ended up getting like a bunch of taffy because you can get ta taffy as well and it's not horribly expensive so we got I got a, bo a bulk taffy, Kayla got two uh, lollipops, and I got this, and it was less than $9 for it all. So we decided to eat at the Frosty Frog Cafe and Pizza here. Well, it's actually like Frosty Frog and Daiquiri mm -hmm. Bar, but literally this menu is huge. For the daiquiri, you can try it before you buy it. That's funny. I like that because I'm the only person. Also, I may get a pizza because... I really want a pizza. I can always go for pizzas. So this is the pizza we got. We got the 16 inch pizza and it is looks so good. She's gonna contaminate that with the with now pineapple on it. We're gonna need a to-go box. And then mom got a pizza sub. We got potato skins, which are like a favorite. And then Kendall got a wrap, which is also one of the favorites. Yeah, pretty hurt it. Yeah, no, look at that. Yeah, her wrap looks really good. All right, so I definitely recommend if you come to Hilton Head, go try to eat at the Frosty's Frosty's Frog Cafe. Very, very good. Um, so it was about $96 for us to eat there, which is kind of expensive, but my mom did get a drink. But what's pretty cool is you could actually sample their drinks beforehand, and they give them out a couple of like little cups so you could try it before you actually buy a big version. So that's really nice to have that. Pizza was very good. Thing else was very good there. I would recommend going there. And then you have Frosty's Closet. So if you go in here, you actually get shirts that are related to the cafe. And if you take your receipt, you get 10% off of merchandise. So it's a pretty good deal. We decided to make a pop back over to the beach just for a little bit while we're over here to look for any more shark teeth because we really did enjoy it. Because we actually, what we did is we got a small bottle. Yeah, well, if you find all the little ones, maybe we find bigger ones. But, so, like, we're just, it, the, the thing about it is that they're saying is that you can get close to the water, but being farther out, like, kind of, like, up here, like, where you see where the more debris is, like, in this area, it's going to be your best bet looking for shark teeth. And the thing about it is that they are really hard to find, because most of the teeth you'll find are very, 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 very small. But, they're very shiny, especially if they've been fossilized. So they're like they're really black and like if I see one in the sand I'll show you what I mean but I mean I found one yesterday I actually found three yesterday but I lost one but I found those two bigger ones yesterday that were really cool so it's kind of found so far we found a couple of good size teeth like I actually found this really good one that Kayla found this really cool rock this actually cool shell and this really cool like clear pebble but you can see how small these things can be like my, my hand I mean look how small that one is that's I and mean, literally when I say we are literally just laying on the ground and all I mean all it is, is you just kind of keep looking and you're looking for a specific thing but you don't really want to be in any like the soft stuff or even down by the water kind of be more up towards the top like where like, not where the water fully comes up to, because the water comes to about here-ish. But it definitely is an interesting perspective of... So yesterday was very busy here. And I mean, it's not super not busy, but it's definitely not as people are in the water. We've got a few people who are in the water. And I wonder if it's because the water may be warmer than the outside temperature. But no one's really been, like, not really seen very many people swimming, per se. So literally last night with our bikes, last night here, because we have to run to the front to get some coffee because we're out of coffee. 
But some fun magic, we were over at the Mercantile because we needed milk because we were going to make some milkshakes tonight. And because the milk goes out of date, literally tomorrow, they throw it all out. And so instead of us paying for it, they gave it to us for free. So kind of nice of them. So having the bikes was a lot of nice. Really, um, if you're not super comfortable with it, trying to ride to the beach can be really hard. However, though, riding around the property was really nice because like right now we needed to go over here. We got milk, we needed to get coffee. And it made it so much quicker than, I mean, it's not like it's super far away. Like, I know some of the other Disney resorts are a lot farther away from each other, like, space-wise. But having the bike was nice, because instead of it possibly taking us 30 minutes to do all that, it took us 15 to 20. But when you come to return the bike, they pretty much just say, just return it by the end of the day that you have it. It's not like there are still castworks down there, so hopefully they'll grab them. But... Overall, I mean, like, I think it's worth it, especially if you're here for a long period of time. I think it's really nice to have them. So I felt that I'm really bad during vacations of doing outros and really just keeping up with what we are doing. So yesterday was our last full day. Um, well, as you guys know, this video is the last full day of our trip here at Hilton Head Island uh, Resort at Disney. Um, but something I didn't show you guys was, so last night we went to dinner at, I want to say, long a, a Longwood backyard uh, barbecue spot so kind of like a uh, mom and pop homegrown um, dinner place and like hopefully I'm putting in footage of stuff like that and we got like me and Kayla got meatloaf and the chicken my parents got like this huge giant platter and I will say it was okay um, my parents really liked it me and Kayla were kind of eh. like the service was amazing we loved our server but it was Okay, so, but another thing also that's really nice about Disney Vacation Club resorts, um, especially when you get to like the one and two bedroom villas and stuff like that, is that you can actually do laundry. So like, for us, we had a giant pile of laundry. Both of, both of my parents, Kendall and me and Kayla, both of us had big amounts of laundry and we needed to do it because we're like well we don't want to go home and have to do it when we both have, we all have to work like i have to work tomorrow kayla has to work together tomorrow my mom has to work tomorrow so we just use the washer and dryer that we have here and that's actually kind of the, one of the nicest features outside of like having like a decent full-size kitchen and then you have the dryer it, it just makes it easier so that you can kind of leave with everything very clean so that you don't have to worry about doing it when you get home it's one less thing you have to worry about so but um I am already up for the next morning. Actually, this morning I'm going to be doing a resort tour, so that's going to be a whole other video outside of the days um, and stuff like that. So, but with all that being said, to do head out from our last full day here at Disney's Hilton Head Island Resort. We'll see y'all tomorrow for travel day back to Orlando. Mm -hmm.